that these two guys are going to flip three coins apiece and get the same number of heads. Okay, to solve this problem, we need to figure out what are the total possible outcomes in a single event, and in this case it's two, it's either heads or tails. And then how many different events will there be? There's going to be one, two, three events. So two possible outcomes per event and three events. And then we just go ahead and use the probability formula. The number of total possible outcomes in a single event raised to the number of events. And that's going to give us our sample space. So 2 to the 3 equals 8. That's the total number of possible outcomes throwing three coins, either heads or tails or heads, that kind of thing. So remember, that number 8 is going to be the denominator for all individual probabilities. Okay, then the second part of this is event A is the first dwarf getting whatever he gets, and event B has to be the same thing for the second dwarf. He has to match whatever the first dwarf's getting. So what we're really looking for is the probability of A and probability of B. And in statistics, we can turn that into the probability of A and B, and that simply means multiply both probabilities together. So let's get started here. Let's list all possible outcomes for the coin toss, three different coin tosses. Here's all the possible outcomes. So let's do how many different possible outcomes are there. Well, first thing that comes to mind is that they both get zero heads. So zero heads. How many ways are there to get zero heads out of these eight? Just one. So the P of getting zero heads is going to be one eighth, one out of eight, for both of these guys. So we want the P of A and the P of B. So what do we do with those? And always means multiply. So we have a one in 64 chance that a will get an outcome where they both get zero heads. Okay, moving on to the next outcome. Possible outcome number two is they can they can each get one head. Okay, so they can get this, or this, or that. And there are three ways to get that out of the total eight. And remember, if this outcome were the first one's head, the other ones are tails, it's going to be one out of eight. And if the middle one's a head, that's one out of eight. And then the last one's a head this outcome or that outcome. When you hear the word or come out of your mouth, that means you have to add up those probabilities. And the possible outcome number two is going to be three out of eight. And we want both of the, these guys to get it, so we want PA and PB. We're going to go ahead and just multiply them. So that is the probability for e, uh, the second outcome. Is 9 out of 64, and the other ones are pretty similar. And the possible outcome number three is they can get two heads in either one of these fashions. So it's this outcome or this outcome or this outcome. Same thing, you're going to add up the individuals and get three eighths. And what do you do with that? We want, oh, there, that's how you get it, three out of eight. So we want PA and PB, that means multiply, so again we get 9 out of 64. And then the, the last final outcome is they could both get three heads. There's one way to get three heads out of eight possibilities. And again we are going to do and, we're going to go ahead and multiply those. So there is the individual proper probability of, of this outcome. And then what you finally do is going to add up all the individual possible probabilities. So the first one with no heads was 1 out of 64. For one head was 9 out of 64. For two heads was 9 out of 64. And all three heads was 1 out of 64. You're going to go ahead and add those up. You're going to do a little bit of reducing. And the final answer is 5 out of 16. So that is the correct answer. That's it. MGZ.